Hey everyone, in the news this week, is it a bird, is it a plane, is it a UFO or a Chinese spy balloon? Nope, it turns out it was a $100 project by the local Bottle Caps Balloon Begrid. The $100 balloons were shot down by Sidewinder missiles that cost $400,000 apiece, and thus we can probably assume that the missile won't be the only one getting fired. Close to home I hear the MOD has developed a new missile called the Civil Servant that doesn't work and it can't be fired. And talking about new vehicles is a collapse of the electric vehicle firm British Volt, with questions being asked about what went wrong. And if you ask me, it was probably how instead of getting in someone like James Dyson or Alan Sugar, the firm was headed up by former cricketer Ian Beefy Botham, who with the best will in the world probably knows a lot more about engineering a test match century at Edgebaston than he does car batteries. In other car news, Jaguar Land Rover's released a new electric vehicle, which I think, given the state of the charging infrastructure, should be called the Range Over. And there's concerns that Bruce Willis might be racist after he was overheard saying that he didn't recognise his own street anymore. But of course the big news story this week was Nicola Sturgeon finally being forced to resign, although even today there's already talk on social media about demanding a second resignation if this one doesn't work out. It is quite an achievement that through her widespread incompetency across multiple government departments and scandals, she's perhaps done more than anyone to eradicate the possibility of the Scottish electorate voting for an independent SNP-led Scotland. Nonetheless, her preferred pronouns are now was slash were. And let's hope that the lady's not for returning, and that this is yet another nail in the coffin for the global trend towards wokery, that surely next sees Justin Trudeau kicked out of office. Given the tendencies of left-wing politicians to embrace this garbage, I'm genuinely surprised that it hasn't led to Labour Mayor Andy Burnham trying to rename his city Themchester, or possibly force supporters to sing songs in support of Themchester United. The Labour backbenchers have been remarkably silent on the downfall of Sturgeon and on a ridiculous campaign to enshrine it as a human right for a rapist to spend his prison sentence at a lady's prison. I did hear, though, that Diane Abbott was described as non-binary, but then they explained it was because she was unable to count beyond two. I mean, see you next week. Like these, click subscribe.